Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend. Here's our overview of week six. So going by dates, on Sunday, July 2nd, you need to submit your final version of your journal article review, incorporating the feedback you got um, from your classmate. Before you turn it in, please take a quick look at the rubric to make sure you're following everything uh, that's required in the assignment, like especially APA format. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about that before submitting it. Um, then moving on to Monday, um, July 3rd, we'll have our office hours as usual from 5 to 7. Then POW, POW number 6 will not be due Tuesday because of the holiday. It'll be due Wednesday, um, July 5th. And what we're doing with POW number 6 is taking ourselves into algebraic thinking. And I want to put up a quick slide here. What you may have noticed as we've been going through the POWs is that we're trying to uh, take a careful look at each of the main content areas in middle school mathematics. So here's a map of the uh, topic progressions. And you can see in grades six and seven, proportional relationships um, are really big. And that was the reason for the orange juice problem. Also becoming more sophisticated about the number system, understanding rational numbers. Uh, that was the reason for spending some time on dividing fractions and looking at repeating and terminating decimals. Um, the area of algebraic thinking is uh, this week's topic, and it addresses expressions and equations as well as functions. Um, next week, we'll be touching on geometrical thinking and some measurement ideas. And then um, our final POW will wrap up with statistics and probability. So that's kind of the sequence um, in terms of the POWs. So looking more closely at this week, same format in terms of working on your own first and then sharing with a partner. Um, algebraic thinking does relate to patterns, generalizing patterns, describing patterns, making predictions, just like in the border problem. Um, and here the patterns relate to trains of hexagons. So you'll need to do some work there. Um, and then like we did with the orange juice problem, we're going to be taking a look at student work and trying to figure out um, how students are approaching this problem. Then finally, um, Tuesday or Wednesday, make sure you uh, do get caught up on our reading. Um, everyone needs to read the article here by Dr. Ellis, Moving from Deficiencies to Possibilities. Um, and then you also have a choice. So um, you can, in Vandewal, you can read either chapter four or chapter five. And I'm hoping some of the questions that came up in our feedback form about uh, working with diverse learners, how to differentiate instruction, you'll be able to address some of those in the reading. Um, chapter four is uh, about differentiation strategies. And then chapter five is about um, being able to bring students' experiences into the classroom, uh, work with you know, students from diverse backgrounds with diverse needs. Um, and that's all uh, part of your reading uh, for what we talk about on Thursday. Looking ahead past Thursday's class, remember uh, we're going to be focusing a lot on the unit plan and part one will be due Sunday, July 9th, and we will have more time to work on it uh, in class together on Thursday. All right, so that's our plan. Again, I hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend and uh, thanks as always for all the hard work that you've been doing. I look forward to seeing you again next Thursday.